Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Had a really busy week. I thought about you guys. I hope that everyone is happy. I hope that everyone is fulfilling their dreams and just staying positive. Remember, you're not alone. We're here for you and I'm very, very thankful that you guys are just spending time with me watching videos. So thank you so much for coming, subscribing to my channel. And in today's video, I would like to share six things that I learned after I got my adult braces. So I hope you learn from this and let's get into it. The first thing I learned is that you may actually lose weight. I actually lost a considerable amount of weight, maybe five, seven, eight pounds. And the reason is when I started my braces, I could not eat anything that is hard. So I ate a lot of soup and noodles and soft fruits like those cupped soups and therefore whenever or yogurts. So just think about that depending on how you adjust the pain and uh, the source and everything you will also adjust how you eat what you eat and you feel you will feel very limited and so in my case i had soup uh yogurt soft foods soft rice porridge um and um soft fruits for the first three four months i think it even um, went into like six months um, and then i was able to adjust to eating rice and pasta but it took me a while and i lost a lot of weight and so my face got thin um well i i wanted to lose some weight around my tummy so it happened it was a bit of a blessing in disguise but yeah i did not really think that that would happen to me so that's number one number two is i learned that i really need to commit to good cleaning habits brushing habits and so flossing is just a little bit more rigorous now um uh, mouthwash and i do water pick like the, like i shared with you it's not brushing and it's not just brushing anymore it's brushing spin brushing uh, water pick uh, flossing not only the teeth but also the brackets and it's just almost every time I eat the meal even snacking I really really brush my teeth and clean so I learned to commit to cleaning habits that I've never had before I had braces the you know the brushing and cleaning habits so that's one thing that I want to share with you guys you would learn to really be disciplined about it at least in my case that was it the third lesson is you need to I learned to stay eating healthy because of the limited food uh, that I can intake because I'm not really I wasn't really good at uh, chewing or biting I had to find other ways to keep staying eating healthy I bought a lot of the naked uh, juice um, that are just like those those uh, kind of like like smoothie of fruits and vegetables I made sure that I'm eating vegetable soups like so just the intake of fruits and vegetable and water because i know i'm not eating as much fruits the way or food or vegetables the way i was eating them when i didn't have the braces so i love snacking on carrots and sugar snap peas uh what else just those crunchy vegetables the celeries and i could not eat them anymore and therefore i got creative I found other ways to eat my favorite vegetables like I made them as soup or they're chopped finely on my salads or um, they could be a vegetable juice or a fruit juice so it's really that other thing just keep eating healthy don't forget to keep healthy okay the the four thing that I learned is that you really need to tell your orthodontist when you're starting to have canker sores i didn't know that I, if i tell them they could tell me 
uh, the reasons why. So one reason for me is that the wire was already moving, it was poking me and I wasn't telling them. I thought that's just something to be expected. So I learned that if I'm starting to have canker sore, the wire is moving, you don't have to wait. I didn't have to wait for my next appointment. I can call them and they can adjust or they can cut the wire and they can adjust it so that you don't have the poking or you can put wax. Okay. The other one is I started having canker sores because of my bands. When I started using the bands and elastics, I was given a latex band in elastic and I really think, I really thought I didn't have any allergies to it. But when I shared that in one of my visits, the orthodontist said you should give her latex free. And when they gave me that, all my canker sores didn't happen anymore. So again, tell your orthodontist when you're starting to have canker sores and they will advise you on what to do they will help you understand why you're having the canker sores and they will advise you things that you can do to avoid them or completely not have them okay number five you really have to share with your orthodontist the observations that you're seeing or the observations you have in your experience with your teeth for instance, if you see that some bones are moving, you, you feel that it's kind of weird, you're just kind of, you have questions about why the gap is not closing or why some of the wire look like this, whatever the observation is, one a gap is closing but then another gap is opening, when you go to your visit, just mention those things because they're very important to your orthodontist, it's just like your health doctor they don't know everything unless you tell them and so that's one of the things i learned for me the more i share about my observation then the more they know about what's happening in my teeth not only that the more i get to learn about the things that they should be doing or uh, the reasons why this is happening and therefore i'm also able to adjust my way of eating or my way of cleaning because the orthodontist is able to explain to me what is going on based on the observation that I'm having. Okay. Last thing that I will share with you today, number six. I really learned to be confident about my face, my smile, and I just learned to love myself, right? So it's very important, guys, that you don't get bothered by your braces and how you look or your face just believe that you're beautiful the way you are you're perfect the way you are i remember i had my braces on that weekend and i texted my boss at work and then my my team and i said i just got braces so when i get there on monday i'll be very conscious please be easy on me just just be patient with me and then when I showed up at work, this was before the pandemic, by the way, when I showed up at work, I was so conscious about my braces, but no one told me, no one mentioned anything to me. They really respected me, but my boss was telling me, like every time I smiled at that point, I was like covering my face and he was like, don't worry, it's okay. And therefore, sometimes it's all in the mind. You think that you look ugly, you think you look different, but actually you're still you. So remember that that's the sixth thing that I learned is that just be, just continue to believe in myself. Uh, my braces doesn't make me ugly. My braces doesn't affect my smile because guys, when we smile, when we talk, it is not the braces talking. It is our heart. It is our personality. It is our intent. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. This uh, six things that I learned after I got my adult braces. And I'll make another video if I think of other things that I've learned because there, there is definitely other things that I've learned during this journey. But for now, those are the top six. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you stay safe, positive, and stay happy, guys. Thank you. Take care. Peace out. Bye.